This is an E3D hot end. Basically your material is melted when it goes down through the tube into here. And then that's where your uh, material is deposited from onto the surface. Some uh, interesting things. We have a resistor that we've uh, locked in here that uh, will allow it not to uh, be removed. And then we also have a thermistor which is a little uh, glass filled bead that measures how quickly current travels through at different heats. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook it up on the ramps. Now here's the thermistor wire. You don't have to worry about positive and negative to do this. You're going to hook it to the thermistor block and it's going to go into the very first two pins and you just plug it in like so. Now for the uh, actual thermistor, you're going to connect it to D10, which is over here. Now positive and negative don't matter. So you're going to slide in the first one. Tie it down. And slide in the next one and tie it down and that's all you have to do for the install portion for the driver portion I'll show you that in just a second or the firmware portion pardon me so you're gonna connect your USB wait for the beep and then we're gonna try it out okay within the Marlin folder we're gonna find the Marlin solution file we're gonna open that up Now we're going to go and check to see that we're connected with the correct port. And it looks like we're good on the board. So we're going to go to the configuration tab. We're going to scroll down. Now we already have the port set to the default, so we generally don't need to change these. The baud rate's good. Now motherboard. We're using the ramps 1.4, so we're using an extruder, a fan, and this is a designation for a bed right here for the B, but currently we're not using that, so we're going to ignore that. We're going to scroll down a little further. We only have one extruder in this case. Don't have to worry about setting a single nozzle because uh, that's for multiple. Uh, print heads, or excuse me, multiple ports for a single print head. So we're getting down to where we need to do some settings here. Okay, thermal settings. This is a list of thermistors that we could possibly use. Now in the case that we're using, it's going to be this one right here. So when we get down to the bottom, we have to uh, set it. So we have four different, or excuse me, five different temperature settings and a bed. In this case, we're only using the first one. So we're going to mark it as eight. Zero, I believe, is not used. Now these are dummy values. We're not going to use those at the moment. We're not going to worry about all these complex settings. Here's the minimum temperature that we're going to use. It's going to be 5 degrees Celsius. All the other uh, bed settings don't really matter or thermistor settings. Now we're at max temp. Seeing how we're using just PLA, one because it's safer two because it's easier to use. We're going to change this to a max value of 200 degrees Celsius. Now these are specialized settings to calibrate to your actual print head. There's a million different videos on how to set these up, so I'm going to ignore that for now. So 
there's one last setting I want to show you. Okay, thermal <clears throat> thermal runaway. Right now they're uncommented. I'm not going to tell you to comment these because I believe it'll make printing safer for you. Always stay in the room while you're printing or nearby. But uh, these will protect you if uh, your temperature runs away and will shut down the printer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to compile and upload. Okay, we're going to connect the power to the main board. This goes to the 12 volt power supply. And then we're going to plug it in. Now normally this is going to be inside a printer. So I have it propped up right now on uh, iron bars to keep it safe. And I'll show you in printer face how to uh, actually test it. Okay, we're going to open up printer face. We're going to connect to the ramps. Now currently our temperature appears to be, looks like about eight degrees Celsius. And our PLI default right now is set to 185 degrees Celsius. This may vary. You can always go to settings options and set the default in here. So to turn it on, we're going to keep an eye on this to see what the temperature is. Right now it says 8.58 degrees Celsius and we're going to see if it actually works. So it looks like the uh, power supply has got some uh, stress on it because the fan's gone on and it looks like the temperature is beginning to rise. So it looks like it's going to work. When you test this on your own, make sure that you uh, have it uh, in a safe place and you're keeping an eye on it. And uh, for now, we're just going to turn it off because we've already gone up uh, 50 degrees Celsius. And if you like my video, please like it. And uh, subscribe and thank you for your time.